Welcome back. Driverless cars were once the domain of science fiction. Today, though, they're no longer a fantasy, but reality. Beyond performing basic driving functions, the newest prototypes can calculate the quickest route and make necessary changes according to the traffic. They can even find the nearest parking space and pay for it automatically. But all of these technological breakthroughs in areas such as the Internet of Things, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence continue to make our lives smarter and smarter. But to make driverless cars an intelligent transportation system a sustainable success, what's essential is a more sophisticated navigation system. So how would such a system work? What are the challenges to achieve it? And what will the future of driverless cars look like? Earlier, my colleague Liu Xin sat down with Patrick Chang, the CEO and co-founder of NavInfo, a Chinese-based technology company that's become a leading force in the navigation map market for autonomous driving. Liu Xin started by asking him how mature this industry is in China today. Accuracy uh, grow from like many years ago is a, uh, for navigation is 10 meter accuracy is pretty enough. Mm -hmm. But for the new uh, uh, functions. Uh, we, st we grow from 10 meter to 1 meter level, uh, accuracy level, we call it the ADAS map. Uh, and then now for the automatic driving, is a, uh, has to be like a, a 10 centimeter level. Mm -hmm. And the uh, update also ask for like daily update. Mm -hmm. So that uh, uh, because automatic driving vehicle, uh, safety is, uh, is, a key, is a, the most, I would say, crucial, uh, uh, you know, target. We have to make sure the, uh, the, the people sitting in the car has to be very safe. Of course. Yeah, so that's why we need a very accurate and fresh uh, map to make yeah. sure the, what we call uh, the function safety. How has it been possible for your company mm -hmm. or other companies mm -hmm. within the same industry to, ev to develop so rapidly mm -hmm. over the past mm -hmm. years? And especially, I understand that just last month in September, mm -hmm. the Chinese mm -hmm. uh, government, the State Council, released a paper which, um, out which underlined a series of key tasks for building national strengths in transportation. And that official document says mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. efforts will also be made to develop cutting-edge te technology that can inspire mm -hmm. smart transportation. Mm -hmm. Is it because mm -hmm. of that kind of emphasis that Chinese mm -hmm. government has mm -hmm. been putting mm -hmm. in upgrading technology mm -hmm. that companies such as yours mm -hmm. have been growing so fast? Sure. The, uh, the players in the industries are, you know, very important. So as uh, the mapping company, the uh, infrastructure also very important. You know, where you get this, uh, uh, how you collect all the uh, change, you know, of the reality. You know, if there's a... a a uh, new road or the new uh, POI or new hotel, new restaurant, whatever uh, change in the real world, somebody has to find out and uh, uh, collect back and deliver to all the uh, user. So that's actually the, the whole loop is uh, uh, very uh, important. So that, uh, uh, that's why um, a mapping company like us can uh, can play an important role there. But you are not the only company mm -hmm. in this business, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you are, as I said, mm -hmm. mixed ownership. Are there? Mm -hmm. I understand there are other private mm -hmm. Chinese mm -hmm. companies that are doing exactly the same mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. Are there differences in, for instance, the kind of policy you're mm -hmm. enjoying, mm -hmm. or any state uh, subsidies that mm -hmm. you that enjoy that are preferential mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. you, other than other private companies? Uh, that's, uh, I would say, uh, open competition. Uh, it's really not about, uh, mainly not about uh, the license. Of course, there, there is license. You have to follow all the legal rules, right? You ha also have to follow all the uh, uh, data privacy because there's a huge number of data actually generate every day. You know, for example, we have in our company, we have uh, 1.5 billion uh, kilometer uh, GPS trace every day. So you have to follow all the, like, how to protect the, uh, the user privacy and also follow the, the legal rule for uh, national uh, security stuff. So that's everything uh, uh, has to be considered. Mm -hmm. uh, why are you are collecting and delivering such big number of data? Yeah, but what is the role of the government mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the government has this licensing practice mm -hmm. where people mm -hmm. have to meet certain mm -hmm. requirements. Mm -hmm. But after that, mm -hmm. um, as, uh, is it really that you're feeling that mm -hmm. there is a, gr uh, a strong push mm -hmm. for this industry mm -hmm. to forge ahead and mm -hmm. the government is providing additional mm -hmm. impetus mm -hmm. for this to grow. Is that what, what you're experiencing? Yes. And concrete, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. concrete terms, mm -hmm. what kind of policies mm -hmm. uh, is the industry experiencing? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, especially our government, uh, uh, I would say, 
very much focus, you know, because you know the current situation of the society, especially the city, uh, everybody is experiencing like traffic jam, like a, a lot of uh, 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 you do have a lot of uh, uh, you know room to improve, right? When you live in the city, so that's why our government see this uh, as an issue, but also as an opportunity. You know, we how we can uh, build a better uh, infrastructure and how we can leverage all the good company, good technologies, and uh, the people's acceptance also as well is much higher in China than other countries of, mm -hmm. of the new technology and, and new uh, business model. What about foreign competition? Mm -hmm. How much competition there is between um, Chinese mapping technology mm -hmm. and foreign te mm -hmm. mapping technology at, at, at this stage in the Chinese market? Mm -hmm. um, there, there are a lot of uh, 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 competition. Uh, I would say, in terms of map, because of the licensing issue, it's not a lot of uh, foreign companies play in the map area. But there is a lot of uh, a foreign company in, uh, you know, obviously car maker, uh, obviously the technology provider, obviously the system vendor, you know, who, who build the hardware and system, and also the uh, the cloud, you know, which is also. Uh, you know, one of the key uh, players in the future. Mm -hmm. um, can a foreign audience, a foreign viewer mm -hmm. in other parts of the world, for instance in the United States or in Japan, expect to use Chinese mapping technology sometime in the future in their mm -hmm. cars that they're driving on their streets? They are already using a lot of hardware, you know, uh, and uh, software uh, from us. But of course, we, because it's a white label, you know, the car makers. Uh, they uh, owns the brand, owns the uh, customer image. Uh, there's already uh, a lot of uh, Chinese companies behind. Mm -hmm. um, In terms of mapping technology? Yeah. Uh, but map, uh, we are actually also new uh, in the global market. Mm. Yeah. But do you, do the Chinese mapping companies have mm -hmm. the plan mm -hmm. to also enter mm -hmm. international markets mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. international competition? Currently, we are much, very much focused in the uh, domestic market because it's, uh, the market needs is huge. Mm. So and, and vertically, development is not only mapping itself. Map is a base of uh, what we call it, uh, the location-based services. So it's a, it's a lot of uh, room to uh, dig out the op opportunities. Mm -hmm. And how fierce, how fierce then, uh, if you're only focusing on the Chinese mm -hmm. domestic market, how mm -hmm. fierce is competition in this mm -hmm. market? Yeah, it's a, since it's an open uh, market now, uh, it's a very strong competition from the internet company, uh, also the, a lot of startup company. So we have to be uh, running very fast to, to keep the leading position. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you do to keep mm -hmm. your leading position? What are some specific measures that mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. in your company, for instance, mm -hmm. are trying to take to, um, um, mm -hmm. in terms of management, in mm -hmm. terms of technological breakthrough, mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of talents, mm -hmm. uh, maybe list a few? Mm -hmm. For sure. I think uh, the most important is the spirit of the people uh, keep innovation. So, uh, for example, the innovation, the R&D cost versus revenue, uh, in last year, uh, there is a 3,600 public company, uh, Netinfo is number one in terms of the percentage, mm -hmm. R&D versus uh, revenue, 54%. Mm -hmm. And is that the reason why, is that a, 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 is that a kind of common um, percentage for companies that are in the mapping business or in the um, intelligent, um, let's say, transportation mm -hmm, sector mm -hmm. to invest so much in R&D. Mm -hmm. What about your foreign counterparts? How much are mm -hmm. they doing? How, mm -hmm. how much they are trying to forge ahead as mm -hmm. well? Do you, do you have any idea? Yeah. Normally, you know, a technology company, uh, the manufacturer uh, company is like 2 to 3% the R&D versus uh, revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, the high-tech company like uh, Huawei and Qualcomm, they normally like 15 to 20 percent. So 54 is, uh, is unusual. So which means you can see that, that there's uh, 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 you know, very heavy uh, investment in the innovation. What is your vision mm -hmm. or what is your ambition in mm -hmm. the end? Mm -hmm. I, I, when I say you, I don't mm -hmm. really mean your particular mm -hmm. company, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Chinese mapping companies mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. general. Um, in 20 years' time, looking at this big cake, mm. right, of mm. autonomous driving mm. using um, very high technology mapping um, uh, capabilities, how big of a, of a slice is mm. China eyeing? Mm. I would say uh, mapping, uh, you know, in 
uh, if you extract what we are doing, it's actually how fast you can rebuild a, a, a virtual world, right? The virtual reality, how fast you can do it. You know, at the beginning we can do it like every half year, and now we can do it, uh, uh, you know, daily. But in the future, uh, autonomous driving, which requires the uh, system in the car, uh, bundle with the V2X, bundle with the cloud, uh, you can uh, rebuild the world in milliseconds. So that's actually the future. And as a mapping company, uh, has to go through the direction of uh, uh, how you can build an autonomous driving system. So it's not only a map anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's about uh, uh, all the technology we need to rebuild the real time, the real time, the reality uh, in millisecond time. Yeah, in, so we were talking about intelligent transportation mm -hmm. system rather mm -hmm. as the big cake. But again, mm -hmm. my question is how big, how big of a pie, mm -hmm. how big of, of a slice mm -hmm. of that pie that mm -hmm. China is, mm -hmm. is looking at? Uh, if you see how many people live in the city, like the, the metropolitan city in China, so it's, a, it's a very different with uh, Europe or US. So people with uh, millions of people, uh, you know, if a city with one million people in China is a, is a small city according to our standard, but mm. it's, uh, it's already a huge city in, uh, in Europe. Mm. So that's quite different. So that the, the requirements from the uh, population who live in the uh, metropolitan city really needs uh, very strong uh, and very convenient, efficient transportation. You know, or how, you know, the, we have to see the, the, the future. Uh, we can see that the, um, the, the experience, the people live in the city, has to have a, a very a good experience versus the current uh, all people always sit in the traffic jam. Yeah. So looking ahead, um, what kind of uh, when earliest mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. we expect to have a real experience of uh, uh, autonomous driving mm -hmm. within Chinese cities, mm -hmm. and will mm -hmm. it be earlier than our counterparts in develop in mm -hmm. other developed countries in the world, or, or, mm -hmm. or following barefoot steps again? I would say, uh, if you look at the, the technology we have, if you look at the, uh, how strong the government is pushing, if you look at the, the customer needs from the Chinese big city, we, I would forecast that uh, China is, not, is the first to launch the autonomous driving, whatever level, so level three, level four, level five. So uh, it's really about the, the, the customer, uh, very strong, uh, the market needs.